uh, kama menotes we are winding up and uh, kitu yenye mtakuwa mjaelewa mtaniambia we review it so for the two remaining lessons in theta so i have to exhaust almost everything yeah? so 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 uh, yeah so we have exhausted almost everything according to the according to the course outline so 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 we are winding up uh, today i want as we look uh, on a specific test for hypothesis that is uh, the analysis of variance and uh, we will do single and uh, multiple uh, analysis of variance eh? yeah just those two si those two uh, simple tests and from there you can you can do more practices eh? so so yeah. you're seeing different data and uh, before we do analysis of variance in data first of all you must understand the concepts that comes with the variances or you must have a rough idea of what is analysis of variance all about so so, so uh, there's a quick definition of ANOVA is that it is a statistical analysis technique in which data sets are compared and are dimensioned to determine their significance so for a long definition uh, we will walk through the process and the test and applications of the results so the test effectively measures how significant uh, the interaction is between variables so you can uh, measure variable a and variable b so they analyze the variances so the test uh, first of all you remember in test of hypothesis uh, before you come up with the conclusions or test statistics itself you must first of all start with the with the null hypothesis that is the h naught which states that there is no significant difference between uh, the variable being uh, uh, the variable being mentioned the variable being mentioned so if the test yields statistically significant results then the tester can reject the null hypothesis and act and uh, accept the alternative hypothesis that is the h a or h1 so h naught or the null hypothesis is not that uh, it there is a no significant difference between the variables no but it's specifically on analysis of variance remember the null hypothesis changes according to according to the type of test one is carrying out so so yeah so the null hypothesis for the analysis of variance is that uh, is that there is no significant difference between the variable being mentioned so uh, yeah so the f statistics is the ANOVA coefficient which tells us whether or not the results are significant yeah so we can use f statistics together with our p value to reject or fail to reject the hypothesis so yeah an f value f value around one denotes that 
little to no difference in value meaning there is a significance a significant variance between them and then group to that you are you are testing so there so there are many statistical uh, software systems that can run an over for you so uh, we have uh, you can t you can tell all the statistical softwares you can definitely run the ANOVA test or some clever statistical calcul calculations uh, can be done to figure how to figure it out so the formula to find the F statistics is taking the mean squared error of the data set and dividing it by the mean sum of squares of the data sets uh, the formulas for finding the mean squared error and the sum of squares are a bit more complex and we won't be getting into that in this article or in this lesson so uh, we can now do the uh, one way analysis of variance so the main use of one way ANOVA the main use of one day ANOVA uh, is to determine is to determine if there is a statistically significant significant differences in the means of three or more groups uh, when there is only one independent variable or factor being considered so this one way and over it will just allow the researcher to compare the means across different levels or category or category uh, of independent variable uh, i want as we use an inbuilt data that comes with this data that comes with this data uh, the data is called the systolic data and uh, let's load that particular data before we start so so let's load the data so you just clear your memory first clear your memory first uh, click on files import tab excel uh, no no, no. <laughs> example data sets then click on stata that in manual data set if you have 14 go to 14 manual data set click on it and uh, choose the first one here base reference manual r yeah click on base reference manual r click on it and uh, anova we have the data for anova here systolic data so click use so so click use then close this one here okay have you done have you imported that particular data before we continue i want to hear from you yes your screen is not presenting can you quite i i present i present anything yeah i could give it only chat i could give it present anyway let me try to reshare it again share your entire screen Napo?
Iko visible ama bando? Ah. Iko sawa sindo. Iko visible. Yes. Iko sawa iko. Ah. Okay. So, to make maybe you import data iko huku. You click on files, uh, example data sets, then kuja kwa the manual data sets state 13 manual data set ama uko na 14 you can click on 14 then base reference manual r this one here and uh, from that point you can choose this the second the second one here systolic.dta so we use this one so 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 tukitumia hiyo tutakuwa sawa so that is it I think kila mtu amefika hapo. So uh, you can browse the data through the data hand data hapo. So this is the data. Make sure you have uh, this data on your screen. Tuko sawa mpaka hapo. Yes, are we together? Just a minute, let me check this. Uh, I'm changing the internet. Eh? Okay, to go so on Pahapo, send you. Are we together at that point? Walter? Yeah. We are together at that point, yes? Yeah, buddy. Okay, let's continue. Uh, we want to run one way analysis of variance one way analysis of variance for this data we want to test uh, whether we want to test whether drug and the systolic of significant uh, difference between the two right because you can see we have here this is the drug this is the disease this is the this is the systolic eh? so drug drug is used to to, to treat these yeah, right to treat these things here so we want to see whether they are related to each other so the process is simple you just uh, you just click on linear models then and over then one way you so you just click on statistics stat, uh, hey. you click on statistics then linear model and related then click on ANOVA and MANOVA then click on one way ANOVA click on one way ANOVA w the response variable for our case is the systolic so to me uh, the drop down menu then select the systolic and uh, the factor variable is the drug the factor variable is the drug so so is the drug you can run you can just click on ok and get the output so this is the one way ANOVA for systolic and drag so actually this is the output of uh an oven between these two variables eh? so and uh, uh the command command responsible for that is uh, one way systolic drag so you start with 
the response variable so the command is one way so one way for this case is a function in uh, stata that is going to perform uh, the analysis of variance between these two variables that is systolic and drag so so uh, yeah so this is the command that is responsible for that and uh, what you have here is the GUI so we have performed the same task using the graphical user interface and if you succeed in graphical user interface the data will automatically generate a command that is responsible for for that I want us we try to modify to hunt something on this output window here and uh, click on statistics try to repeat the same process but I want us we mark a certain box here I want you to have uh, to mark the this box for producing the summary table uh, you can mark this one here uh, surprise surprise another table let's mark this too uh, okay no no let's mark only the first one yeah? when we are over I want us to mark only this first box here produce summary table let's see okay you can see we have the analysis of variance here and uh, the summary table the summary table for the drag for the drag so 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 how can you or how do we interpret this output of ANOVA from one we from one we how do we interpret this one way ANOVA output uh, first of all in test of hypothesis uh, Tafuta to where we have the p-value just to find the section where we have the p-value and uh, for this case where is the p-value the overall <laughs> the overall is here so, so that is greater than 0 0.05 so you have a rough idea of what to expect in the interpretation so this is the output and uh, let's now try to interpret the output so this table uh, it represents one way another conducted on data sets involving uh, the systolic blood pressure and measured under the influence of different drug treatment so uh, drugs is the factor of variable and uh, here is the interpretation we have the source the source is this one here these ones here the values for source sum of squares these are the degrees of freedom uh, mean squares this is the f statistics together with the probability here uh, let's see how we interpret that and uh, the ss column represents the sum of squares which quantifies the variability of one data between groups uh, the sum of squares blah 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 all those things so the df these are the degrees of freedom we hand three so the degrees of freedom is three minus two yeah and 57 minus three for the for the groups for the groups uh ms 
this is the mean square calculated by dividing the sum of squares yeah i want as we bring more attention on this part here uh, number five and number six f the f column represent the f statistic uh, which is calculated by dividing the mean square of between group by the mean square of the within group so the f value the f value is 9.09 .09, indicating the ratio indicating the ratio of the variability among the means to the variability within each group within each group so the probability greater than f the probability greater than f displays the p-value associated with the f statistics and uh, in this case the p-value is 0 0.0001 which is less than the typical significance level of 0 0.05 so therefore uh, there is a very strong evidence to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is significant difference uh, between the systolic blood pressure among the drug treatment methods. So, so, yeah, that is the F statistics. Uh, additionally, the table provides the result of Batet test of for equivariances uh, for equivariances uh, the chi square is this one and the p value is 0 0.8 so indicating that there is no evidence of equal of unequal variances among the treatment groups uh, you remember the null hypothesis for the ballet but but let the way you you want to announce it uh, that's the reason why i have told you that uh, this hypothesis uh, these two hypotheses in differs eh? according to the type of test one is performing so so yeah Okay, that is a simple analysis of variance. Eh? One way, one way analysis of variance. We can do uh, another variance where now we have more than one independent variable. Uh, and uh, for this, for this example. I tried to to use the these two here. Oh, let me show you. I decided to use, to use uh, the disease and systolic as my independent variable, and uh, this one as factor. This one as the factor. So imagine of a situation where you have more than one you have more than two for example you have more than three you have more than four that is the multiple the multivariate that is the multivariate analysis of variance that is the multivariate analysis of variance now let's dive on manova instead uh, MANOVA stands for Multivariate Analysis of Variance, which is a statistical technique uh, that is used to analyze the relationship between multiple independent variables and one or more independent variables. So it is an extension of the analysis of variance. Yeah, so MANOVA is, is just an extension of the ANOVA. So, so yeah so suppose one want to include disease as independent variable together with the systolic 
for this example or you have even more than those two you have more than five you can include all of them so so yeah and uh, you just come up with a clear output or a clear analysis on the same so uh, we are treating drag as dependent variable so we shall run the maneuver analysis and try to interpret the result so follow the, the steps here just click on statistics uh, linear model and uh, and related ANOVA stroke MANOVA so we want to go and perform the multivariate analysis of variance that is the MANOVA so click on it and uh, I want you to select I want you to select uh, these two the systolic together with the disease here so so the dependent variable I want to select uh, disease together with the systolic and uh, on the model part you just select you just select drag so so you just select drag then click ok then click ok Mukosa wa mpaka hapo before we continue have you been able to produce that result for manova yes we have okay uh, let's continue so this is the test statistics these are the results these are the results so uh, the command command responsible for this output is this one here so maneuver disease systolic is equals to drag so this one will give you this output here now let's try let's try to interpret this output uh, let's try to interpret the output so the output is from a result of maneuver analysis in theta with the dependent variable with the dependent variable systolic together with the disease and the independent variable for our case is the drug so here is how you can interpret the outputs number one we have the wilkes lambda wilkes lambda so the value is 0 0.6511 indicating that the overall significance of the drug variable uh, the overall significance of drug variable in explaining the variation in dependent variable uh, a value that is uh, just a minute the value is, is 0 0.6511 indicates that the overall significance of a uh, drug variable in explaining the variation of the dependent variables so, so. So, a value close to zero suggests what? Suggests that uh, there is a significance effect. While a value closer to one suggests no significant effects. So, so, yeah. So, uh, we have the pillar stress P. We have the pillar stress. So, the value is 0 0.3504 representing the overall performance of drag uh, of the drag variable based on this method of pilastries so the will kiss lambda a value that is close to zero suggests a significance effect of drag but our 
our value is 0 0.65 so iko hapo iko karibu na hapo katikati so so uh, we have the little hot hoteling traces eh? these ones here uh iko hapo this one the l L. So we are reading these values. Eh? This test the statistics here. Yeah. This test what? The test statistics here. Yeah. And uh, we will use the p values, p values on each to tell uh, whether the significance is there or not. So so. And uh, for our case, every value here is uh, less than significance of five percent of five percent uh, these are the residuals so the residuals row provides information about the degrees of redup tf and the number of observations remaining after accounting for the drug variable effect so overall uh, the manoeuvre analysis suggests that the drug variable has a significant effect on the systolic disease variable based on all the test statistics and their associated p values. So, and the associated p values because we don't have any p value that is greater than uh, the significant level the significance level so these are the lambdas uh not lambdas eh? the p values so for wilkie's lambda uh the p value is 0 0.0007 which indicates that there is significance of of the relationship between the drug and the other combined set of dependent variables so since the p-value is less than the conventional significance level of 0 0.05 we can conclude that there is a significance motivate effect of the drug on systolic together with the disease variables the p is the same the p value is less than significance value indicating there is a significance so all the p values were less than significance were less than 0 0.05 so 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 in summary all the statistical tests the lambdas uh, will kiss lambda the pillar trees low laser or telling stress and the rose targets huh? uh, and Roy's largest uh, that one shows the p value that are less than 0 0.05 so it indicates there is indeed a significant motivated effects of drug on systolic together with the disease together with the disease that is how we interpret the maneuver how to put from uh, stator from stator from stator yes uliza swali kulikuwa na na la hypothesis pandan kulikuwa na na la hypothesis do to Interpret evil. Okay. Uh, basically, sequence uh, may include the hypothesis, apple, but ANOVA is, is used for test of in test of hypothesis. So, utakuwa tu na claim. So you are just claiming. Sido. Utakuwa na claim. You nataka ku test against ingine in ANOVA because. Uh, uh, Utaku unitumia kufanya aji if it's not for making conclusions on those things. So, yeah, I think that is it. So you just have to conclude if the p-value is less. 
Yeah, if p value significance kama ni more Tunasema, there's, no there's no significance between the variables that you are testing. So, for my case, my data is for from medi medicine, right? So, we have drugs treating uh, this disease, and after treating disease, we have the systolic um, blood pressure, something of kind. Eh? So, we are trying to test uh, the significance eh, between this drug whether this drug is significant has significant effect on these other variables so so yeah so. uh any other question any other question but but in the call your hypothesis and then you could do which slide? Slide number? Uh, let's see. Okay, okay, that slide ya kwanza. Uh -huh. The fifth line. The fourth line, sorry. Uh -huh. This test, test starts by creating an error hypothesis which states that there is no significant difference. So I think you are going to claim that that is the first step we use and yeah. the first to carry out this project. Yeah, actually, that is it. So the null hypothesis in ANOVA is always this one. So, so, so there is no significance. So, so, so that is the null hypothesis. So H here, which is the alternative is the opposite of it so we can make any conclusions on a do to by default that's what you are testing so so yeah let us see some areas or scenarios uh when one may use uh, the multivariate analysis of variance eh? And kutoka hapo, you will mutaniambia ni gani munataka tufanya revision for tomorrow and uh, day after tomorrow so that we wrap everything. So, so. Because uh, content in nature. Now, the remaining fat, the, the remaining, uh, the remaining uh, what? The remaining parts, uh, the remaining part is actually more, more advanced so I take one any benefit for you so mutaniambe nyo munataka tufanye either revision or we introduce a, a new concept yenyo munataka tu then we will call it the end of this course the end of this data I mean. and uh Number one, uh, the first scenario, we have the experimental design where MANOVA is often employed uh, when studying the effect of multiple independent uh, uh, where MANOVA is employed, employed when studying the effect of multiple independent variables or factors on a set of correlated independent variables. So, for instance, uh, in a drug trial, uh, the researcher may examine the impact of different drugs on various health outcomes, such as um, blood pressure, cholesterol level, and heart rate, and all those other things. Actually, uh, in medical trial, there must be a statistician somewhere. There must be a data analyst somewhere. So, so, who is going to do the, uh, the impact, to analyze the impact of this drug on uh, 
the sound effects on other things like sound effect uh, the operations of all the how different body organs may react with that particular drug so so that is on experimental design we have the social sciences research where manova is widely used in social science research uh, to explore the relationship between multiple variables for example in a study of educational attainment uh, the researcher might investigate the influence <laughs> The influence of factors like socioeconomic status, parental education level, and school quality on academic performance across different subjects. So, so, yeah. So, the third part is on clinical studies. Clinical studies. So, MANOVA is applicable in clinical studies when evaluating the effectiveness of treatment or the interventions on uh, various health indicators so in a mental health study uh, research might assess the impact of different therapies on multiple outcomes uh, such as anxiety depression and quality of life and in this day we have marketing research so, uh, in marketing research, uh, MANOVA, uh, the multivariate analysis of variance can be utilized to analyze consumer preference and perceptions across multiple dimensions. Across multiple dimensions. And uh, in market research, actually, this is the concept that is used by, by marketing uh, by online shops like like Jumia, like Jumia to to do their marketing and um, bring more items on areas where uh, the manoeuvre directs them to deliver more project, more more resources, more resources and all those other things. So so. So actually, in a uh, in app development cycle, uh, especially for online marketing, uh, especially for online shops, they have an uh, analysis tool pack, and as in a quasi these things, eh? yeah. So it's a system that will tell you that uh, people in this region. Uh, they are likely to purchase this product and not this other one so 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 this is the same concept that is used here we have biological research uh manova is valuable in biological research when examining uh, the relationship between different factor and a set of physiological or biochemical measures so in a study of nutrition for example uh, a researcher might investigate the effects of different diets on multiple biomakers such as blood sugar level uh, the cholesterol profiles and inflammation markers and the inflammation markers oh. We have another part here. Uh, we have the multivariate data exploration, uh, where MANOVA can be used as, as, an, as an explanatory tool to uncover patterns and relationships uh, within multivariate data sets. So, researcher might employ manoeuvre to identify group difference difference and uh, associations among variables in 
areas such as pattern recognitions and data mining and cluster analysis and cluster analysis so 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 these are just some areas where one may use the multivariate analysis of various i want to hear from you scenarios where one might use one way or another i want to hear from you yes I want to hear from you. A book a kiria. Only I'm here. What do you think? Yes. Yes. Na, na, I think one way is to nisa to me an over. One yeah. way. Yeah. Ah, okay. Na sama. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. I have a serious call here. I request I receive it eh, before we continue. Right? Just a minute. Hello? 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 Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, continue. Okay. I think the main I was saying when it was not an offer. The levels of a patient uh -huh. before and after the medication, yes. which medicine, uh -huh. and also say me you're a you're a you're a farmer. Uh -huh. And you want to test the effect of a fertilizer on a given crop. Different types of fertilizers. Yes. Utaona ita kusaidia kuona if at all there is a significant cut nini. Very true. Lakitu kitumia hii fertilizer na kitumia hii fertilizer ingine. So that you can also do good way on the kamuna chukua fertilizer. Exactly, exactly. Very, very good. So, utakuti upate when you are doing an analysis or some test, is in a force to to me that only that means silly and you down a you down a you are the use of a nova you are more efficient to me so yeah so see now story mingi leo we can call it and day at that particular point so occasion to kesho kesho kutu and you to normalize here so expect probably we yes walter Okay, okay. Me, I need to quote on a concern. Kidogo. So, bearing the bearing in mind that we're going to use the starter. Yes. So what? What if you get you send it at an an article? Because mm -hmm. I I believe most of us, it is not just the end of us with starter, and we like to learn more about it. Now, after I put all the the articles, books, whereby we can the books that you recommend as a as a as a as a tutor, and it has idea to learn more about starter because the jelly book after. I found only one book. I I don't know how much was the best book uh, anyway, okay. but I chose a book from 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 the library. So if I told you, can you have articles that you can you can share so I, that in our own free time we can do it more exploration on data. Very good, very very good. Actually, I have more materials, but uh, we some time. Uh, we uh, a note from a uh, certain book, then you. Prepare notes, kidogo yenye unakuja kufanya na presentation, but basically I have the resources. I have those books. I will share with you 
tukimaliza sawa 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 mr wal okay. asante so nitawapia tukimaliza so i think tunazamalizia hapo tunde and uh, ebu mniandike hapo kwa whatsapp ni, ni which area do you think uh, do you, or you suggest we do a recap ni prepare more on it tomorrow before i think on what to offer tomorrow because what is remaining is uh, something like a cluster analysis and do i think whether it will benefit you yes water okay kidogo hata kaniuliza if at all kutakuwa na project ya friday pia because Okay, okay. tutakuwa na sasa next week. Obvious, yeah. And I think kuna hii class I think she's Priscilla ali request if at all kutakuwa na review of the assignments that you have done. Yes. Hiyo lazima kutoka kutakuwa hii week ambayo itakuwa. Hii hii inakuwa hivi eh. Ah tukimaliza project, tukimaliza project. Uh, unajua sasa kuna kuna something hapa uh, inasumbua kidogo sababu hizo project kuna mwenye ajatuma ile ya kwanza unaona so ili tulikuwa tunafanya hivi we go through a project then i give out the marking scheme for the particular project and uh, tunakuwa na review of the project as a group eh? unauliza maswali we answer the questions unaona pale ulikuwa wrong then we continue like that but now i'm in a dilemma i don't know what to do sababu uh, kusema kweli kuna mwenye aja presenter ta yani wenye wamenitumia hizo project ni watu kama watatu so unashindwa uta mtafanya discussion na auna those projects you know inakuwa ngumu kidogo so mukima mukituma the early you sent the project the better so that ni they are only 15 mlikuwa uh, watu watano watu watano watu sita hapo so times 3 they are around 15 so those ones i can mark them in just one day hata kama ni weekend then from there we can have a look on it on next week on monday before we start the pound bi yeah yes brand Niko na uliza. Ni command gani tunaitumia if you want to test the vile two variables iko associated. Vile variable iko associated with another. Yes. Si hiyo ni story ya correlation analysis if I'm not wrong. kuna relationship na association so tunatumia correlation uh, are you talking of uh, association or relationship association okay let me check uh, association ni kwa nini liko ile chi square test ile uh, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah one tab tab then the first variable second variable then a comma then chi2 yes 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 actually that is it ni chi square oh, okay mm. so to pattern a case sawa sawa mm. 